Interior Design Trends 2024 are here. Super exciting. I can't wait to share with you guys. We get to see what we're going to be having a lot more often in spaces 2024 onwards. So guys, let's get right into it. Hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is Fazetti ali and i'm an interior designer who's always giving the best tips on how to make your space look stunning and in today's video we're gonna be looking and delving into trends 2024 for interior design are you excited because i'm super excited guys anyway let's get right into the video Cubs, this is definitely a trend that we have seen in the past year. It's going forward into 2024. I love Cubs. So we are definitely moving away from those hardened edges that we used to have in the past. We're going for something more smooth and more curvy and I am loving it. I don't know what you guys think, but so we're going to be seeing this often in furniture pieces from our sofas to our accent chairs, our coffee tables, our mirrors, our carpets. And it's not just circles and ovals, not specific shapes. We're actually going to be seeing this um, brought in with inorganic shapes. And I'm just loving that because it brings so much uniqueness. It's not something you're going to easily come across. Having those irregular shaped mirrors with some amoeba shape or something those look really great like have you guys seen them because they look amazing so for your furniture pieces say your sofas your accent chairs these curvy pieces look super contemporary they look really modern they're bringing in such a unique feel into the space so guys that would definitely be something i can advise you to give a shot um it's a trend that i think we'll be seeing going on for quite a while so it just brings a lot of um taste and elegance to a space um so cubs are a thing they're gonna be here in the long run i believe um so yeah guys mix up your stuff in the house we always have those hard architectural lines already going on with your ceiling and your walls and all that so bring in a little bit of cubs to just soften the space to bring in that coziness it looks really amazing it's a trend that i think um will be a great add to our interior spaces Another beautiful trend we'll be seeing in 2024 is biophilia. Now, what is biophilia? This is when we bring nature from the outside into the spaces. So this has been a trend that has been going on since 2020. And this is because of the pandemic and how it affected us and how we had to get locked in. And we never really got to interact with nature for like months on end. So bringing in nature inside is a thing that people decided to incorporate into their spaces because this is a way of interacting with nature even when you're indoors and not only that people just realize how beautiful and how outstanding bringing in that home garden into the space or a feature tree looks spectacular in the houses it's quite a statement it looks amazing it's definitely that feature that you need in a home so it's a trend that we've been seeing going on. It's still going into 2024. And I'm just happy to see people interact more with Mother Nature. So guys, you can bring this in with a feature tree in your space. Mostly if you have double ceilings, it will be such a beautiful statement in your home. Um, you can bring it as a small garden in the space. This is something people are doing often in their homes. Okay, it might need a home that is quite large so that you can section out an area that is just a garden and maybe you have skylights to allow lighting for the plants and so on of course you have to be specific with the type of plants you're going to be bringing in because you're going to need um, plants that can survive indoors and all that so yeah this is something that is super interesting it creates a beautiful um aesthetic and appeal in any space so you can think about you know having this in your space too if your space is not too big you still have um a chance and a choice bring in flowers bring in a beautiful small um planter or just a nice tree in the corner of the room um that is modern enough there yeah, guys bio failure this is something that we're going to be seeing often and i am loving it
another trend we'll be seeing in 2024 is natural materials so what you're going to be seeing often in spaces is just that natural wood that cotton that linen that rattan that jute so it's more of attic tones really in spaces and it's beautiful it brings that warmth into a space i am loving it i think it's a beautiful trend so if you're buying furniture right now you can try to go for those natural finishes they definitely look amazing they make a space look really authentic and like you paid attention to detail and all that so this would be a great way to incorporate a little bit of artiness in your space Now with trends also comes advancements in technology and with interior design, what we're going to be seeing in trends going forward is smart homes. Now this is spaces that can be controlled remotely, maybe your appliances or your gadgets can be controlled remotely by a remote control, your tablet, your phone and so on. So in interior design, this can include smart kitchens, this can include automated curtain systems, smart lighting such as sensor lighting. Um, now, of course, this makes our lives easier. You don't really have to get up and do much. You can easily control different elements of your home simply through the touch of a button or the touch of a screen. So I think this is very interesting. It does bring that contemporary sort of um, vibe, modern vibe into spaces. So this is definitely something that we're going to be seeing more often. I'm sure as the years go by, we're going to be seeing it in more advanced ways. And so it's very interesting. It's something that I am enjoying seeing and i'm loving seeing it it would be great to also incorporate the smart home um, gadgets in my own space so yeah guys that is um a very interesting now an interior design style that we're also going to be seeing being quite popular in 2024 is warm minimalism so people are actually going the road of minimalism where they're not having too many items in a space they're just picking the important items and trying to work with this and also make it look aesthetic and appealing which is great love that um so on top of this they're trying to also move away from cooler tones in spaces and more of that uh, warm brown beiges and all that kind of tones so we're moving towards a warmer side and it's a great way to also you know bring in that coziness into your space so this is a style that incorporates a lot of natural materials, neutral tones, those browns. And I think it just creates a nice cozy home. So this is something you can think about if you're trying to figure out what style to go with for your space. This is a really aesthetic style that, that allows you to keep your interior simple and aesthetic. Now, if you love traveling, if you love vacations, um, interior design is kind of solving that problem for you now because we're going into an era where we'll be having hotel-like interiors in our homes. Now, this trend is allowing us to bring those beautiful features we see in hotels into our spaces, incorporating into our homes in ways that they look and add a lot of depth and interest into the different spaces. And it looks amazing. It creates that sanctuary that you look for on your holidays. So instead of always running out somewhere to go book a trip and, you know, have that feeling of um, vacation, you can actually have this in your home. So I'm thinking this is super interesting. This is amazing. And I'm sure your home is going to be looking amazing because hotels look great. They always look super aesthetic and super appealing. So I'm thinking this trend is amazing. Bring in those beautiful um, feature walls, make a statement in your home and create that feeling of sanctuary that holiday sort of feeling um i think it works um it's a trend that i'm hoping to see a lot of people jump on because sometimes with this economy how how do you get time how do we travel so yeah let's make that holiday in our homes and um, enjoy that so yeah guys that is a trend that we're going to be seeing often um going forward into 2024 Now, large abstract pieces are gonna be quite trendy when it comes to 2024. So people are moving away from having small pieces or small gallery walls on their walls and actually going for larger pieces. I think it's beautiful. It makes a quick statement in a space. Immediately somebody walks in, it's gonna be like, boom, in your face. And so it's a trend that I think um, art pieces always bring in that sense of 
classy, elegant appeal. So it's a trend that I would easily see being incorporated into different spaces. I mean, I think it's simple. It's a simple way to add a statement into your home. So go ahead and bring in those large art pieces. Um, have them on your living room walls, have them in your bedroom areas, in your corridor, on your staircase lobbies and so on. Um, this will definitely create that focal point that you're looking for in a space. They always look amazing. I mean, I've always been an advocate for large art pieces. I do not like small art pieces. They just don't do much for a space and they hang very awkwardly in a space anyway. So yeah, guys, I am for this trend 100%. Take a large piece, people. Take a large piece and incorporate it into your space and you'll be grateful because it's going to look amazing and it's going to be um, a statement for your home. I know I said we're going to be seeing more of a warm minimalism, but we're also going to be seeing bold colors and spaces. And I think it's good to have both ways. I mean, if you're a person who likes, you know, that chill, neutral tone, go for warm minimalism. But if you love bold colors, this is also an option you can work with. So we're going to be seeing a lot of bold, unique colors um, bring brought into space. It's sort of an eclectic design, but in a very sort of minimized, modern way. Um, and this is mostly through bringing in this super unique furniture pieces. We have this really modern, contemporary furniture pieces, mostly accent chairs, tables that come in with some beautiful colors beautiful shapes uh, organic shapes that is and so i'm loving this trend really i'm not even a big fan of color i wouldn't bring that much boldness into my space but whenever i look at these interiors i think they look really amazing and i think there'd be such a bold statement in a space so guys go for it if you're a fan of color if you want to bring in a little splash of color in your space then this eclectic sort of design is the way to go and of course now start moving away from what you're used to in terms of um furnishing and furniture pieces you don't have to go for that usual looking chair you don't have to go for that sofa that you've seen through the years go for something different go for something unique and these are coming in trendy and so that's what we're definitely moving into in 2024 Now, the last item I'll be talking about in terms of Trans 2024 is actually color choices. And we're going to be moving more towards cooler tones. And these are the blues, the greens, and so on. Now, I already shared this in my 2024 color trends video. You can check that out. I will link it in the description below and also up here. Anyway, guys, just going over it really quickly. We have Benjamin Moore going for a blue shade, a dark blue sort of tone. We have Shawn Williams going for a lighter blue tone, uh, which is beautiful. We have Bear going for a more black tone, so something neutral. We have our Valsper going for another blue, which is called Renew Blue. It's a really beautiful shade of blue. So I'm loving it. Um, uh, we have Graham and Brown going for a nice olive sort of green called Viridis. I think it's beautiful. So guys, if you haven't seen the Valsper and Graham and Brown um, shades, which I did not include in my video last week, sorry guys, just check them out in my shots videos. You'll get to see this beautiful um, shades. Anyway, as you can see, what we're seeing is we're moving towards cooler tones. These are the greens and the blues. And we are moving away from what we had in the previous year, which were the warmer tones from the same companies. It's a nice sort of fresh feel that we're bringing into our spaces. I am loving it. I hope you guys are too. So if you're thinking of repainting your spaces, these are colors you can check out and look into maybe adding into your space. They're really nice tones that can really set the mood for your space. So they might be an interesting choice for your interiors. So yeah, guys, that's what we're expecting to see in the coming year, 2024 interior design trends. I hope you got to learn something. I hope there's something you love and will be incorporating into your space. I definitely love a few of this and will be adding them into my space. I hope that's the same for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And yeah, we are ready to now go into interior spaces 2024 because now we got all the tools we need in styling those spaces. Of course, guys, always remember you never have to go with trends. Trends come and go over the years. You might change all your items and find new, completely new trends coming in. So 
it's about your style what you love make your space speak to you add character add your own character into your space such that it's all about you your personality and it just speaks your style so yeah guys this is just as a by the way as you know something that you can keep in mind when picking out items but you always do not have to go with trends anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video um next week we'll be coming back with kitchen trends 2024 very exciting again so it's literally a trend series i hope to keep you guys locked in here please click that subscribe button guys so that you get notified every time i upload these videos anyway guys thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video feel free to like comment subscribe and share and also let me know if there's any trend i've skipped on that you maybe know about in the comment section below i would also love to learn from you and of course i would also love to know what else is going on out there that I do not know about, right? Anyway, thank you so much and guys have a great day. Bye-bye.